If you only have one day in Rome, you can still see many of the masterpieces in this fast-paced walking and metro tour of Rome. This self-directed excursion includes visits to St. Peter's Basilica, the Vatican Museum, the Spanish Steps, the Trevi Fountain, the Pantheon, the Vittorio Emanuele Monument, Trajan's Forum, and the Colosseum. Some of the attractions will have long lines or require advanced ticket purchase. You can skip the lines if you've purchased your ticket in advance. I've included links below for some of the websites to help you plan your day trip. Tickets will need to be purchased in advance for the Colosseum and the Vatican Museum. From the port of Cervera Vecchia, walk or take a taxi to the Cervera Vecchia train station, just a few minutes south from the port. At the train station, purchase tickets for the train to Rome with a stop at the Roma San Pietro station. Depending on the schedule, the trip will take about 40 minutes to an hour. When you arrive at the Roma San Pietro station, head northwest towards Vatican City, following the signs. When entering the main square, keep to the right for the entrance to St. Peter's. You'll spend about 30 to 45 minutes in the Basilica where you'll be overcome by the grandeur of the architecture and marvel in the incredible works of art, including the Pita sculpture by Michelangelo. Heading out of St. Peter's, head towards the large obelisk in the center of the square and turn left, or north, up the street, taking another left at the corner of the wall to the Vatican. Here you will enter the Vatican Museums, where you will see well-known masterpieces from throughout the centuries, including works by Raphael and the Sistine Chapel paintings by Michelangelo. Although the museum is huge, you can march through it in about an hour and a half. Upon exiting the museum, head northeast towards the Ottaviano Metro Station and purchase a single trip ticket. Take the metro to the Spagna Station and follow the signs to the Piazza di Spagna where there is plenty of luxury shopping and the Spanish steps. You'll want to spend about half an hour here. Head south towards the Trevi Fountain where you want to push your way through the crowds to get to the edge of the fountain for the obligatory coin toss over your shoulder, ensuring your future return to Rome. You'll want to spend about 15 minutes here. Heading west, follow the side streets to the Pantheon. Generally, lines move quickly here and exploring the inside will take about 20 minutes. From the Pantheon, Head south until you meet up with the main road named Corso Vittorio Emanuele II. Then turn left, following the road to the Monumento Nazionale e Vittorio Emanuele II. This landmark was completed in 1925 in honor of Vittorio Emanuele, the first king of a unified Italy. Continue southeast from the left side of the monument, passing Trajan's Forum towards the Colosseum. With your advanced ticket purchase, you'll use the short line for pre-purchased tickets. 30 minutes should be ample time to quickly explore and take photos. When exiting the Colosseum, turn right towards the Colosso Metro Station. Again, purchase a single ride ticket and take the Metro to the Termini Station. Upon arriving at Termini, you'll want to make your way to the main platform and purchase tickets for the train to Giovetta Vecchia. The train will take a little over an hour to return to the port. In the description below is a rough timeline of this excursion. As the various cruise lines offer different arrival and departure times, adjust your schedule accordingly. For more tours and self-directed excursions, don't forget to subscribe and click on the like button and comment below if you found this guide helpful.